Okay, I think it's just about 4.30 on um, Friday, the final weekend of May. It's the 29th, and for those of you keeping track of our rounds, it's round 73. And um, a couple different things that I felt like were swirling around in my mind and in my heart for today. We had a really powerful, um, hey Lee, we had a really powerful discussion on Zoom today with a lot of local church leaders and folks from our church about what's been happening in our country and the things, hey Sally, and the things that are going on and, and hey Linda Hart, out in um, the area of Minneapolis, down in Louisville, a lot of tough things going on. I'm just really feeling that the only answer we have is God's love, and we just need to really be pressing into that. And also being reminded that Tuesday, uh, Laurie was talking about God's fire and God's fire being a reflection. Hey, Pam, uh, God's fire being a reflection of his love. So with a couple of those thoughts in mind, um, I wanted to mention this, that, uh, hey, Dave and Gail, that uh, this is the um, cover for the new book that uh, my friend Todd and I have written. It's called Imagine You Being Loved, and it's all about God's love. It's about uh, the different types of love. The Bible has a lot of different words for love, and um, so we go through those different words, uh, filio and agape and all the different words for love that the Bible uses, and also uh, we go through, hey Tom, the um, scriptures in 1 Corinthians 13 to describe love to us. So this book will be coming out soon. And uh, in it, we do make some references to the Song of Solomon. So in the Song of Solomon, it's a real powerful description of love between a man and a woman, but it's also a mirror of God's love for us. Hey, John Wright. And... Um, I want to focus on a song that has, it's kind of built around two of the verses from the final chapter of Song of Solomon, which is chapter 8, and it's verses 6 and 7, which says this, set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for love is as strong as death. That's pretty powerful. Love is as strong as death, jealousy is as cruel as the grave, and the coals thereof are the coals of fire, which is a most vehement flame. Remember what Laurie was talking about with the fire of God. Verse 7 says, Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. A man would give all the substance of his house for love. Right? The Beatles wrote a song, Can't Buy Me Love, but if you could... If you could, you would give anything for love because there's nothing of, of greater value than love. And so we need so much love right now. There's so much hate in the world. There's so much negativity. The only hope we have is love. And, and honestly, we can't supply that on our own. The Bible says we love because he first loved us. So the source of all of our love, the best love that we can give comes from God. And so we need to be constantly allowing God to pour into us so we have something to pour back out in terms of his love for others. So this song is called You Won't Relent. And there's another aspect of it that I like too. It, it, it says that God won't relent. He, in other words, he won't let up until he has everything that we have, that we've given him our all. He's, he wants to love us unconditionally. He wants to love us beyond all measure. And he wants us to learn to love back, not just him, but others in the world around us. And so uh, this song's called You Won't Relent. And it's about how God's doing a work in our lives. And hey, Dave Stabler. And God's trying to teach us how to love, trying to fill us with his love. And his love is... Um, like a fire that can't be quenched. It's going to keep burning until it accomplishes the purpose that he sent it for. You won't relent until you 
have it all my heart is yours you won't relent until you have it all my heart is yours i'll set you as a seal upon my heart as a seal upon my arm for there's a love that is as strong as death jealousy demanding as the grave and many waters cannot quench this love waters cannot quench this love come be the fire inside of me come be the flame upon my heart come be the fire inside of me until you and i the fire inside of me come be the flame upon my heart come be the fire inside of me until you and I are My heart is yours. Well, we know what God's heart is. He wants to love us completely, unconditionally, uh, relentlessly. And so then we have to choose to say to God, my heart is yours. Set me as a seal. Upon, set, I want to set you as a seal on my heart, as a seal on my arm. My life is about you. And, uh, and many waters, no floods can quench that love that God has for us. And boy, do we need it. We're going through a tough time in the world right now. We have this coronavirus thing and it's starting to dissipate. Thank God for that. Governor Murphy said we might be able to have people in the church building within a few weeks. And that's great. In addition to our uh, parking lot service and things we've been having online. But we've got big problems in the world. We've got problems with uh, violence and racism and, and uh, just, we need God's love. And so I hope today you're feeling God's love, knowing you're loved by him and, uh, and being blessed to, um, to feel that you are loved by others, brothers and sisters. And so uh, that's my little thought for today. God's love is all we've got but it's all we need. And uh, so, uh, as Dave Stabler just texted on here, we need the mind of Christ, and then we can be renewed and love as he loves. And that's what I'm hoping for for all of us. So I'll be back here tomorrow uh, for a little 4.30 th uh, thoughts. And uh, Sunday, got a big one coming up, big finale on Sunday. It's going to surprise you. So hope you'll tune in for those. I love you guys. Have a blessed weekend. Take care.